the Titan, 600 migrants, and the American media machine. On June 14th, a small immobilized fishing boat near the coast of Greece capsized. Nearly 700 migrants drowned. According to the EU Commissioner for Home Affairs, Yilva Johansson, this is the worst tragedy ever in the Mediterranean Sea. This dreadful story got little to no attention in America. Stack that story up against the story of the Titan. The Titan was a submersible contraption held together with makeshift parts, some you can find at Home Depot or a used RV shop. The Titan went missing, never to be seen again. Five souls were aboard this death trap when it was last seen diving to visit the wreckage of the Titanic. The Titan passengers vanished, but not without a full week's worth of nonstop coverage. Do the math. On one hand, we have five rich tourists on a joyride gone wrong. Wealthy and bored, the group jumped into a vessel the size of a Hummer for a grand adventure on the high seas. It was for fun. The thrill of it all, on the other hand, we have over 750, perhaps as many as 800 migrants. The migrants consisted of hundreds of people from various countries, including Syria, Egypt, and Pakistan. They were fleeing war, persecution, climate change, and poverty. The migrants were hoping to reach Italy. Sure, it was risky, but the travel was not for thrill-seeking. It was for hopes of a better life hopes that have been dashed by the fierce force of the high seas. America's coverage of international events is terrible. If it's not about us, it's not for us. Cable news has better options to cover to maintain its ratings. It's shameful, but true. Don't judge Americans by America's media coverage. Five corporations control 90% of our media. America's big media machine was able to get away with its schemes and in the end receive very little, if any, backlash because most of America is working class. We don't have a whole lot of pity for rich old white men arrogant enough to spend a quarter million dollars making up dumb ways to die. The Titan is a great conversation starter. It's red meat for working class folk who can't afford health care, a $400 emergency, or new hearing aids. Contrary to what you've heard about us, most of us care that hundreds of poor people drowned trying to find a better life. We the people send our deepest condolences even if our media does not. For TBTV Network, I'm Alicia Iverson.